Hello everyone and welcome to this exciting DIY project. In today's video, we're going to show you how to build a high power Bluetooth speaker using the ESP32 microcontroller and PVC pipes. This is not just your average Bluetooth speaker. It's a powerful, sleek and customizable device that's perfect for both tech enthusiasts and music lovers alike. Whether you want to improve your electronic skills or create an awesome speaker to enjoy your favorite music, this project will give you the best of both worlds. Let's dive right into it. First, we'll go over all the materials and tools you'll need to complete this build. Of course, the most important part is the ESP32 microcontroller. This little chip is fantastic because it has built-in Bluetooth functionality making it perfect for projects like this. It's very versatile, allowing us to manage both the Bluetooth connection and the audio output seamlessly. Next, we're going to need some PVC pipes, which will form the body of the speaker. These pipes help amplify the sound and provide a nice aesthetic that's also practical for sound resonance, particularly enhancing the bass. Apart from that, we'll need a speaker driver, a battery pack or power source, resistors, capacitors, and a few wires to connect everything. Once you have everything laid out, we can start the build. The first thing we need to do is measure and cut the PVC pipes. The size of the pipe matters because it affects the acoustics of the speaker. You want to find a balance that will boost the bass without muffling the higher frequencies. After measuring, carefully cut the pipes to size and smooth out the edges with sandpaper to avoid any sharp spots. Now that the housing is ready, let's move on to assembling the electronics. Start by wiring up the ESP32 to the speaker driver. This part is crucial because the ESP32 will handle the audio signal sent from your Bluetooth device and convert it into sound. Make sure you follow the wiring diagram carefully to avoid any mistakes. Next, connect your power source. You can either use a battery pack which makes the speaker portable, or you can use a DC adapter if you prefer to plug it in. For this build, we're going with a battery pack, because it gives us more flexibility to take the speaker anywhere. Once the power and speaker connections are in place, it's time to program the ESP32. Don't worry if you've never done this before, it's simpler than it sounds. We'll be uploading a Bluetooth audio receiver code to the ESP32, which will allow it to receive audio from any Bluetooth device and play it through the speaker. After uploading the code, we'll do a quick test to make sure the ESP32 is working properly. Turn on your Bluetooth device, connect it to the ESP32 and play some music. If everything is working as expected, we can move on to the next step. Now it's time to assemble everything inside the PVC pipe. Start by securing the speaker driver at one end of the pipe. You can use some glue or screws to make sure it's firmly in place. Then, carefully fit the ESP32 and other components inside the pipe, making sure all the wires are neatly tucked away. This part requires a bit of patience, but once it's done, your speaker will look clean and professional. Don't forget to leave room for the power switch and charging port if you're using a battery. Before sealing up the pipe, let's test the speaker one more time. Turn it on, connect your phone or laptop via Bluetooth and play some music. You should immediately notice how clear and powerful the sound is, especially with the added bass boost from the PVC pipe. The ESP32 does an amazing job of handling the audio signal, and the overall build creates a rich, immersive listening experience. If everything sounds good, you can go ahead and close up the pipe, securing all the components inside. And there you have it, your very own custom-built Bluetooth speaker using the ESP32 microcontroller. This speaker not only looks great, but also sounds fantastic. It's perfect for parties, outdoor events, or just enjoying music at home. Plus, it's fully customizable, so you can experiment with different pipe sizes or speaker drivers 
to further improve the sound. I really hope you enjoyed this project and found the tutorial helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more exciting DIY projects coming up and you don't want to miss them. Also, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future projects. I'd love to hear your thoughts and help you out if you run into any issues with the build. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.